Hey everybody. So I was getting ready to sit down and edit that video and I completely forgot. I forgot to do my little intro because I haven't done a, a YouTube. <laughs> uh, I haven't done a YouTube video in a little while. So uh, at least one in the field like that. Uh, this is not, it's not financial advice. It's not fishing advice. It's not life advice. I am a person on the internet and you shouldn't listen to anything I say. Uh, when it comes to the, uh, the, the fishing regulations, you need to check for your area because they can change by drainage. And then even within those drainages, there's uh, multiple different rivers and lakes that have their own, um, their own regulations. So watch for that. And also, uh, just so you know, in the video, we got skunked. So at the end, I'll include some pictures or a video or something from over the winter or earlier in the, the spring here when we didn't get skunked. There are fish out there. You can go get them. Uh, thanks. How does this one feel? It's still light. You ready? Yep, right. it's already going. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Tarmigan Butts. Hopefully you've been here before. If not, we're just doing a quick update for uh, doing set lines for Burbit. I did a, my very first upload to YouTube a couple of years ago was a video about doing set lines but it was like my first time doing it so it's pretty useless we've learned a lot since then so over here we're tied off because these sets the the state says they these sets have to be labeled you have to check them every 24 hours so we put these out about 22 hours ago so we we're we were out here fishing but it's about time to get these checked this has your phone number and address i think on it and then we just tie our set off to shore and all it is is just a piece of driftwood with some 550 cord tied around it and then I, I taped it just to hold it still and i use driftwood that's yeah what is it about 18 inches long ish yeah something ish. like that because when you punch a hole in the ice you can use these in the winter you just set it on top of the hole in the ice and then uh you run your 550 cord out and we'll see if we have anything this is some of the cheapest fishing you can do, and that's why I like it. Yeah, it's feeling pretty light, baby. I don't think we got anything. Yeah, there's no fish on here. They don't really fight that much when you pull them up when you do have one, but they do. you can feel the weight, and they do fight just a little bit. So we might get skunked, but all right. So, and I don't normally do this. I happened to have an extra hook baited yesterday. So I said, I was gonna go ahead and send it. But at the end of my 550 cord, I do two loops. And on my upper loop, I do my sinker because that will keep the hook in the bait on the bottom. Whereas if you put the sinker down on the lower loop your bait will float in the uh in the current we want to keep it on or as close to the bottom as we can get so that's why i do it like that and then in my lower loop i tie my uh i tie my my hook usually it's just one hook but like i said i had two hooks handy so i just put them on there and it didn't work anyways so yep and then a couple of swivels and that's it and you don't need a whole ton of rope a whole ton of 550 cord because the farther you throw it the more chance you have of getting snagged up on something and losing your set and that's doing set lines in 2022 damn you can kind of feel by how heavy it how heavy it feels yeah what is your sense on this one so far didn't, didn't get a chance to feel yet oh We can't get greedy, so. As you were just talking up about how you can kind of tell. I think it feels light. I don't know if it's just the current. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> wow! Nice. This is awesome. Good placement. Look at him. You know exactly where to. Go ahead and get these burbots. Yeah, yep.